Hello beautiful family, how are you all doing? Thank you so dearly for always tuning in. I really appreciate if today the first time you are coming across us so you are hearing our voice for the first time. We still remain progress news and we give it to you back to back. You remember that in this platform, you know we normally drag all the truth. <laughs> Nothing but the truth. We drag each and every one of them here to represent. Yes, so some of my people, there is something that I want you to list it to. But before that, let me give you just a brief highlight about what is happening. So it happens that Dr. Shiji, I don't know how many of you know him, Dr. Shiji. <laughs> Last month, you can recall with me last month, December, after the five day sit at home. Hey, 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 hey. He blow hot water, water. In fact, he was among the first persons to dish out the number of the Finnish uh, um, governors or the government or president or uh, any other minister in fin uh, Finland that. Uh, they should handle uh, Mazi Simon Ekpa, that Mazi Simon Ekpa is a criminal, and so many other things that he said in that particular broadcast. And a lot of people were like saying, oh, why will he do this? He would have heard from Mazi Simon Ekpa before going on with what he is saying because as far or as long as they know as long as they know simon Ekpa, he is not the one that sent those people that were attacking others pulling down uh vehicles and so many you know that in this platform during that process i was hitting on the name by saying that other people just hijack this sit at home. They are now using the influence of this sit at home to commit a lot of atrocity, but God is great. And that is what happened. Uh, Dr. Skidi then, he was very angry with uh, Simon Ekpa and so many other persons and a lot of things happened then. All right, you won't believe that this is the same Dr. Shidi not telling people that uh, stop spreading false news against Simon Ekpa. I am like, shoo, what is really going on? I don't get it. That they should stop sp uh, spreading uh, fake news about Simon Ekpa. They should not try to pull him down and all that. I say shoo, but I have something to say before I will say just listen briefly to Dr. Shidi. And I will be right back. You see, Simon Epa now published a video, um, uh, what do you call it, a, um, a Zoom meeting. Watch me. You see, people like me, we don't rush and begin to spread that kind of thing. You have to investigate. You have to be sure because those things, sometimes they are deliberately planned. And do, when, they now, when they now showed that, that video, what did you do? You just reinforced the followership that he will have. That's what you did by by doing that. Um, please read your comment later. Right now, I'm not reading your comment. Just so that you know. So when you now put that without organizing, if you guys did not agree as the evil community, why would you rush and bring that kind of thing? Because what he will do is he will just come and counter it and he will, he will become more glorious in the eyes of people. And he will gain more followership and you just shut yourself in the foot. So you cannot just run and just dish out something there. Why? To, because you don't like the person. Excuse me. You say, oh, that person is not, it, it, it doesn't have an, it, it, it says Simon Epa doesn't have an office. He doesn't have an, why would you say he doesn't have an office? He has an office, he has a practice there. So when you say, when you, when you release that kind of fake news, when he now comes and releases the real thing, his followers will say, ah, they are just attacking him for nothing. <laughs> you come out and you say, oh, his social media account has been blocked. Simon Epa social, Simon Epa is laughing and he's enjoying it. Your fake news about Simon Epa is not bringing him down. And really, see, I'm not after bringing any person down. If you understand social media, if you understand how things go viral, 
is come, I will show you how it is done. Do you, do you know why you're here? <laughs> Finland police has arrested Marzi Simon Emba. Interpol has arrested Marzi Simon Emba. All of you just carry it and begin to spread everywhere. How? How did you know? Did you investigate? Did you call the Finnish police? Did you write to them? Followers will start clapping. Ah, you are a man. This guy is too much. Why do people keep hating on this guy? Do you see how it turns out and it works in the person's favor? You see, this is what I am saying. Now, Dr. Shidi realized and said that people should stop fake news about uh, Simon Ekpa. <laughs> then now, the ones that Dr. Shidi came to say the other time in that interview, did he really investigate those things? Did he have his time to speak one-on-one -on -one with Simon Ekpa to confirm if it's true that this sit at home, this is what happened, I'm the one that sent those boys, as everybody normally claims. Did he have his time? Or did he take his time to really make this investigation as he's saying it? Because saying it this way shows that he's a learned person and he is a great leader. And he is someone that people can look up to. But the interview that he did, that is what baffles me. Did he make the investigation? Is he so sure? When he was calling the Finnish uh, leader in the live stream and all that, is he so sure of what he's saying? Is he just a mere saying? Did he just hear from some persons and did not hear the other ones before saying this? Please, oh, hmm. People have a lot of truth to tell Biafrans. Honestly, because Biafrans, they are not taking this thing joke anymore. Because you will just come up and put something out there. Tomorrow you come back and say, oh, this thing that I put here is all fake. I did not really get the investigation and all that. Nothing bad for you to come out. This is what is called damage control. I guess, or I think, let me use it, that I am thinking that Dr. Shidi in his own part also realized that there were some statements that he made during that broadcast that should not be that he fast forward in doing some kind of things. He allowed this emotion to control him. That is just what I see. And right now, he's trying to come back, like come back, like Coming back to this, I say, oh, maybe Dr. Shidi, you overreacted. But it is never too late for him to also come back or for him to us because the way he's talking, Biafras, they've already know where he's driving to already. So that is why I'm saying this that if you hear any information against anybody or about anybody, make sure you really investigate it. Yes, yeah, so make sure you really investigate just like what Dr. Shidi is saying. He says, stop saying, carrying fake information about uh, Simon Ekpa. I'm so shocked, but I'm not, su not surprised. But nevertheless, what gonna be will be. Now we understand a lot. No matter how they try to twist the English, no matter how they try to twist the, the language, we now understand that a lot of things they are saying about Simon Ekpa, they are all fake. Hearing it from the horse's mouth makes us now to understand and we can boldly say it and say, oh, Dr. Shidi just confirmed because he is convinced that a lot of things they are saying about him is all fake. So, my realistic people, I just have to bring this here for you to know that these are not my words, but these are the words of Dr. Shidi. You remember very well. Yes, so he's now blasting people, telling a lot of people that stop carrying fake news about Simon Ekman. So, I have just draw the curtain here. I say, let me bring you the update so that you will be correct and know that things are changing already. <laughs> Please, you have to subscribe to this channel. Share our videos and like our videos because I will be giving you all the latest updates. Thank you and bye-bye.